Well, hello there, my fellow wastelanders. Welcome back to my channel and to a brand new Fallout 76 video. So, in this video, I will be telling you everything you need to know and help you to complete the tadpole badges in order to obtain your backpack in Fallout 76. So, before we start, make sure to sub the notification on to never miss a video from now on. And without further ado, let us start this video. So, first of all, we're gonna fast travel to the Pioneer Scout Camp. Which, when you fast travel, the game will spawn you on this rock here. Now you want to follow where I'm going. You want to enter the camp itself, go down here, and just keep following where I'm going. Like this. And this is the scout leader Jaggy, which will give you the quest. And in this shack over here, on this terminal, this one. And this one, you could do the exams. Which for the exams, you could just Google them on how to do the exams and the answers. And that way you could find the answers. There will also be a link in the description for that. So now, let's check the challenges. So, I'm gonna give you a briefing on every one of these challenges. But I'm gonna complete three of them and teach you how you could exactly do those. In my opinion, those three are easier than the other ones. But I'm still gonna give you a little briefing on each and every one of them. So first one, for the Archer Tadpole Badge. Now, I don't recommend doing this if you're not using a bow or a crossbow as your main gun. This will be extremely hard to complete. You need to be at least level 40 in order to complete these badges. And killing level 40 or 45 or 50 or above that with a crossbow, it's going to be extremely hard. But one tip that I could give you is that you should go for easier enemies like Scorch. And also the trader up in Crater, the Raiders trader, she has a lot of crossbow slash bow related plans. So you could also check her inventory as well. Next for the athlete, I'm gonna teach you how you could do the athlete step by step. So let's skip it. Same with code breaker. Now don't go for this. You see, I'm level 124 and I still haven't done any of these. Most of these are extremely rare recipes, which have really hard ingredients and just it's a headache. Unless you're trying to complete all of these, don't go for this. One tip that I could give you is if you don't have a recipe, don't just go look around for it. Search it in Google and the Fallout Wiki and see how you could actually obtain it. That will be much easier than like going around completing events and challenges and hoping to get one. Next for the entomologist. So first you need to complete the Path to Enlightenment event, which this is an easy event. It's like level 15 or something. It's easy. I'm pretty sure most of you have already done it. Mothman wing, kill a mothman. Mothmans are, they don't have a guaranteed spawn. You just have to roam around Appalachia, especially at nights, and hope to find one. They actually have no spawns, none. So that's your best bet. Bloatfly. Bloatflies are common enemies, but they're like mole rats. Like they spawn everywhere. So you probably shouldn't have any problem finding one. Same with Bloodbug. Now for these one, one tip that I could give you is that do the tea time event. In the tea time event, a lot of enemies like the rat ants, the stingwing, bloodbug, bloatflies, rat toads and creatures like this will actually spawn and attack you so you can take picture of most of those creatures like that instead of just going to every spawn and trying to kill them and take pictures of them that way for the cave cricket you could hit the tanagra town for asset cave crickets also have a guaranteed spawn there you could hit that place Firefly do the path to enlightenment event. A lot of fireflies spawn in that event, which you could kill one of them and take picture of them. Honey beasts. Honey beasts are like mothman again one tip that i could give you is roam around the south part of savage divide they have a slim chance of spawning like randomly around there rad ant again do the sweet tea event rad roach i don't think i really need to talk about this one same with rat scorpion and stingwing again do the tea time event ticks also spawn in the tea time event so you could also do that next for the herpetologist this is a bit hard, I don't really recommend doing it, but if you want to do it, I'll tell you whatever I know about it. So, these two just finish the exam at the terminal, and this one, capture a frog and build this in your camp. Easy. Anglers have a slim chance of spawning randomly in this region. Deathclaw, you should try Deathclaw Island for this. They're not that hard to come by. 
frog going to capture him like take a picture of a frog we'll just kill one and take a picture of it you can find it in the forest area i think so the golfer look around the charleston capital building area they usually have a high chance of like spawning around there i would say for the mylurks try the quarry x3 there's a guaranteed mylur queen spawn and mylur spawn there so if you hit it like five or six times you're probably gonna get all the different variants of mylurks to spawn there again mylur hunter mylur king queen and rat toad again tea time event hunter you need to kill rat stack with different weapons rat stack is a common creature that spawns almost everywhere especially in the in the forest area which you just need to kill with different weapons yoguas are also common i don't think i really need to tell you where to find them but if you're having difficulty try savage divide they usually spawn in like the north side of Savage Divide. Again, yo guys, white wolf. Wolves spawn in the forest area. Most of these like smaller, weaker animals, they spawn in the forest area. And this is just easy. Mammologists. Now we need to take a picture of Baroming, Cat, Fox. So all of these spawn randomly in the forest area. They don't have any guaranteed spawn. Just have to look around for them in the forest area. Not much more to tell. Now Medic. I was originally gonna tell you how to do this but one of the challenges is extremely hard to complete so i'm not going to focus on this one but for this one you need to craft antibiotics disease cures which if you don't already have their plants you could buy them from the white spring bunker in the medical wing he usually sells these plans and stuff so be sure to check them out if you need any of these now a steam pack diffuser this is extremely hard you see you cannot buy this from any vendor in the game the only way that you could actually obtain this is by finishing the project paradise event which is an extremely hard event it's really hard really 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 hard i tried it solo many times and i failed all of them it's really hard and when you finish it there is a 12.5 percent chance that you could get this impact diffuser plan so in my opinion it is not worth it your best bet would be to just look around the server for the player camps maybe they're selling them now i have been buying these in the last month and i have about 100 of them in my stash so if you need any of these just join my discord server and tell me there and i'll come and give you three and the swimmer badge i'm actually going to show you how you could do the swimmer badge so first let's talk about the athlete badge so you need to finish the athlete exam in the terminal with you need to have a strength and an agility more than five now with the newest update it's actually fairly easy just make a new loadout increase your agility and strength more than five if they're not already more than five and finish it and you could do this now let me show you how you could do the rest of these and now the first thing that you want to do for the athlete badge is you want to fast travel to camp venture it's over here on the map this is the Nagra town camp venture i'm gonna fast travel to it and when you fast travel the game will spawn you around here so you wanna start making your way inside the camp itself Here you want to just follow where I'm going, here you don't want to go that way. And as you come here, as you could see, there's a sign, you just want to follow the sign. And here you could start the challenge, so let's do the course together. Welcome campers, it's time to as you can see. Time runs out. That's right. I'm timing this. Just like life's race against our own fleeting mortality, this is a race against the clock. Yeah! Everyone so we ready? should do this first. Great! On your mark! Get set! Go! So, let's see. Okay. And now. Okay. Okay, we should now start going. Here. Just keep on going. Ah, fuck me. It's a little bit more difficult than it looks like. Especially in power armor, it's really not easy. Um, 
surprise here. And I did it! Six seconds before the time runs out. Now we should head to the next course. For the second part of the Athletic Badge, we're gonna fast travel to the Stunning Top Ski Lanes. It's next to the Stunning Top Station. Up here. This is wall 76. All the way here. When you fast travel, the game will spawn you around here. Now you wanna follow where I'm going. Come in here, run out. Go here. Down the stairs. And this is the course. Now remember, there are a lot of traps and stuff on the road on this way. So it's, it's difficult to finish. Definitely have some stim packs on you. So let's do the course. Let's activate. Let's go. Um, wait. Where's the next one? Right, it's here. So keep on going. Remember, there are traps. Don't step on them. I have some step packs on you. So the next one. Down there. It's a fairly straight line. And it's... It doesn't take long to finish. It's just the traps that you want to be careful about. As you can see, traps. There are two traps here. Here. Through here. Um, right, flamethrower. So, next one through here. There is a trap there, so jump. Oh. Through here. And this is the finish line. And we finished it. On to the next batch. So, for the last race, we're gonna fast travel to the New River George Bridge East. This is all 76. This is the New River George Bridge East. So, when you fast travel, the game will spawn you somewhere around here. You wanna make your way towards here. And this is the start of the race. So, you wanna activate it. Okay, so we should now start the race. Now remember, there will be quite a few ghouls around here. So, you know, this is actually harder than the last two races. Just want to follow where I'm going. Or come down here. Now, you want to be careful here not to fall down. Jump here. And now, we should keep on going. Straight. Nope, as you can see, I've just missed one. Yep, don't be like me, guys. Here, I've missed this one. And let's keep on going. Now, here. Okay. Now through here, I'm gonna keep on going straight, there. This one. There's a little bit of radiation here. This one. Be careful not to fall down. Yep. 
yeah, so there are a few enemies along the way. Be careful about those ones. Now, this one... That was really close. Be careful not to fall. I almost fell. Here. Now, looks like I have to kill these. Now, here it gets a little bit tricky. This is a bit hard. You want to go here. And from here, we should... This, just be careful not to fall, because... And I didn't fall. Okay. And yeah, the last one's here. This is a checkpoint. Yep. And that was the athlete badge. Now let's talk about the swimmer tackle badge. So you need to do the swimmer exam, obviously. And let me show you how you could do the rest of these. So for doing the swimmer challenge, first of all, fast travel to the Wavy Willard's water park. The game will spawn you around here somewhere. Next, you want to make your way inside the park itself. Follow where I'm going. We want to get to that. Uh, want to get to that water slide. Next, when you're here, you want to put your camera on it. As you can see, you want to angle your camera a bit better until it says the mountain itself on the top left of the screen. If it doesn't says it, then it doesn't count if you take a picture. It just has to say that you're on it. So take a picture from it. Next, I want to take a picture from this water slide. Yep, as you can see, it says a slide. So take a picture from this. After this, you want to go down here. Through here. And as you can see, this smoking area. It says wavy, wavy waves. You want to take a picture from here. The wavy waves. As you can see now, swimmer challenge. We've done all three. Now let's move to the next part. For the next part of the swimmer challenge, you want to fast travel to the spruce knob lake. Now the game will spawn you somewhere around here. You want to make your way towards east, a little bit lower than the spruce knob campground. Start running there. As you can see, you want to go to that little house over there. Now when you're here, you want to make your way to the back of the house thingy. Here there's a book that you could take. And a swimming suit. You wanna put the you wanna put the swimming suit on. Here, wanna wear this swimsuit. I mean it's looking sexy, huh? And you wanna come down here. Here you could start the swimming test. But before you're doing that, I suggest you clear this place. There are some Mylurks, the Mylurk Queen over there. There are five red thingies. One, 
two, three over there, four, and five over there. There's five minutes to swim around and touch every single one of these. Then come up here and finish the challenge. Now I'm extremely overweight so I can't do it, but it should be fairly easy. Just go and hit every one of these red points once. My suggestion is you want to start with this one, then the one that is up there, the one that is next to the queen, the one that is all the way to the left, this one, and out and finish the challenge. That's the best route. Or you could go start from that side and do all of this in a circle. It's up to you. So lastly you need to revive another player while in water. I suggest going to the Quarry X3 which is a Myler Queen spawn. You and a buddy of yours. One of you will, will go in the water. You'll probably get knocked out by the Queen. And the other one will just run up to him and revive him. And you could do the other thing for your friend so that both of you could just finish this challenge easily. Now let's talk about the code breaker batch. You need to do the code breaker exam. You need to hack three level zero, level one, level two, and level three terminals. So level zeros and level ones are quite common. Level twos, not as common, but there are a few bit of them out there. And level threes are a bitch to find. I'm gonna tell you where to find level twos and level threes because if you're level 40, you've probably finished these two by now. So let's start by level twos. First and foremost, you wanna fast travel to the Clarksburg Shooting Club, which is up here. You wanna fast travel here. I'm gonna fast travel, the game will spawn you here. So what you need to do is you wanna face this way towards like the houses and shit. You wanna run towards them. Until you see this like wooden wall thingy next you wanna come into this shop as you can see it says gun shop it has a like a sealed door like this you wanna open it and in here this is a level 2 terminal that you need to hack Next, we're gonna fast travel to the Sons of Dane compound. It's here. This is the Cenotop Station, the Fort Atlas. Here, the Sons of Dane compound. Just fast travel here. And when you fast travel, the game will spawn you here. Now, where you need to go is you wanna enter, you wanna continue this road. You don't wanna go there. Instead, you wanna turn left and enter this house over here. And in this house, you wanna go up. And this is a level two terminal that you could hack. And as you can see, I've hacked the terminal. Now onto the last one. Now for the last one, you wanna fast travel to the Appalachian Antiques. You wanna fast travel here. And when you fast travel, the game will spawn you here. So you wanna make your way towards the main house itself. And when you enter the compound itself, you wanna follow where I'm going. And here is the last level two terminal. And I have hacked the last level 2 terminals. Now for the level 3 terminals, they're extremely rare to find. So one tip that I could give you is, if you don't want to look for them, you could ask one of your friends to lock their personal terminal to a level 3 lock. And you could just unlock their terminals. And this is an easy way of cheesing it. However, if you want to do it the intended way, I recommend the sites, site Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. First, let us fast travel to the site Alpha. As you could see, site Alpha is up here, near National Isolation Array. We're gonna fast travel to it. I'm gonna fast travel to site Alpha, the game will spawn us around here. Well, we wanna 
enter the site itself. Just keep in mind, if we're not going to launch a nuke from this site for completing the challenge, you need to be quick about this so that those robots don't catch you off guard and start shooting at you when you're hacking the terminal. So obviously open the door. Now you want to quickly make your way to this terminal, the, f the foyer terminal. These terminals are all level 3s in the sites which because I think I unlocked it one, it's still unlocked but for you it shouldn't be unlocked, I, un I unlocked this a few minutes ago but you want to fast travel to every freight terminal and unlock it at every site and these are the easier one, there are a few more level 3 terminals but those are extremely hard to get to, these are easier so I recommend doing these so guys that will be it for this video, if you enjoyed please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions, ask me in the comment section or join my Discord server. You could talk there, ask me any questions you have, or whatever. I'll be there, and I will catch you on our next video.